from coastal drives skirting tropical locations, where its rumored restless souls resulting from decades of brutal car accidents still roam after dark, to mountainous parkways whose nature areas and many connective trails are shrouded in local legend and all manner of ghost story. Are you ready to brave our third list of picks for some of the most haunted roads in the United States? Number 5. The San Juan Skyway the San Juan Skyway is a national scenic byway positioned in a 233-mile loop through the southwestern portion of Colorado that crosses the San Juan Mountains and its most famous 25-mile stretch, being the Million Dollar Highway, is estimated to have cost around a million dollars per mile of construction. Historically, in 1883, one Otto Mears would design a toll road to connect Uri to Ironton that would make up an initial portion of what would one day become the Million Dollar Highway, and later, another toll road would run from Ironton to Silverton over Red Mountain Pass. Through the late 1880s, Otto would begin designing railroads and would construct the Silverton Railroad to connect Silverton to Albany. Through the early 1920s, Mears's original toll road was reconstructed and transformed into our present-day US 550, and in 1924, the Million Dollar Highway was completed. In 1988, the San Juan Skyway was designated a National Forest Scenic Byway. In 1989, it was named a Colorado Scenic Byway. And in 1996, it was honored as an All-American Road or National Scenic Byway. The San Juan Skyway remains a popular route amongst all manner of travelers and is framed by numerous historic landmarks, old mining towns, nature areas, trails, and the like. Sadly, on the stretch that is the Million Dollar Highway alone, an average of around 40 accidents and 7 deaths occur annually, and local legend tells the spirits of the victims of these wrecks, restless over their untimely fates, remain, with motorists through the area reporting orbs and strange forms in photography and on dash cams, floating lights spied in abandoned buildings, and the constant feelings of being watched, followed, or even of being touched by presences unseen. A range of full-bodied apparitions have been sighted along the road or just off of it, some appearing bloodied or broken, others that ask for rides, only to disappear mid-drive. Lastly, those who have braved the many ghost towns or old mine sites dotting the skyway have told of objects sighted moving on their own, of disembodied voices and whispers from empty spaces, and of the feeling of despair, often attributed to what miners and prospectors felt after giving their all to a profession that, ultimately, left most broke. Number 4. Blue Ridge Parkway Blue Ridge Parkway, which runs for 469 miles through North Carolina and Virginia, and links Shenandoah National Park to Great Smoky Mountains National Park, is a national parkway and scenic byway boasting the title of being the longest linear park in the United States that stretches the spine of the Blue Ridge, a major mountain chain acting as part of the Appalachian Range, and it's revered for its breathtaking scenery. Historically, work on what was then called the Appalachian Scenic Highway was started on September 11th of 1935, just out of Cumberland Knob in North Carolina, and by the following February, efforts had begun in Virginia as well. Congress would formalize the project as the Blue Ridge Parkway on June 30th of 1936, and would place the route under the jurisdiction of the National Park Service. From 1946 and onward, aside from on a handful of occasions, this aged parkway has boasted the title of being the most visited unit of the MPS. With the exception of a small portion near Grandfather Mountain, the stretch was officially completed by 1966, with the aforementioned section finished later in 1987. The Blue Ridge Parkway remains in use into the present and is bordered by both National Park Service and Forest Service lands, which offer numerous pull-offs and sites for hiking, camping, biking, and all manner of nature activity. 
Sadly, seemingly every year, a slew of fatal accidents have occurred along this stretch, with around 15 transpiring in 2020 alone, and 13 in 2021. And from its earliest days, this dark drive has been shrouded in local legends and reports of encounters with the otherworldly, with those frequenting it telling of extreme temperature fluctuations, of odd fogs that descend upon the strip alone, and of full-bodied apparitions in clothing spanning the air sighted wandering the shoulders that vanish when approached. Those crossing through the parkway's tunnels have described disembodied voices and footsteps heard through their windows, and shadowy silhouettes that press up against their vehicles, and inexplicable lights have been spied emanating from abandoned cabins near. Lastly, hikers through the area have described feeling as if they were constantly being stalked by something unseen, something that didn't want them there. Number 3. California State Route 299 California State Route 299 is a major east-west state highway crossing the northern part of California that starts at US 101 out of Arcata and continues east to the Nevada state line. At just over 305 miles in length, it boasts the title of being the third longest California state highway in existence, with the segment between Arcata and Redding recognized as the Trinity Scenic Byway. Historically, the development of various state highways that would later comprise California State Route 299 would launch in 1903 as the Trinity Humboldt State Highway Corridor, and over the years, this segment would be upgraded, extended, and in time, absorbed into the U.S. highway system. In 1934, this stretch was officially designated as U.S. Route 299 and would remain as such until 1964, when it was reofficiated as a California State Route instead. Over the years, 299 has been realigned and rerouted a number of times, and in several places, such as in Trinity County, abandoned roadways, bridges leading to nowhere, and relics of the past can be viewed just adjacent to our current highway. Today, California State Route 299 remains a popular drive and is framed by picture-perfect scenery, landmarks, small towns, parks, trails, and more. As local legend has it, this old roadway's most haunted stretch is purported to lie between Old Shasta City and the Whiskey Town Lake, and motorists who have braved it have reported extreme temperature fluctuations, the constant feelings of being watched or even of being touched by presences unseen, instances of well-maintained cars stalling or dying inexplicably, and encounters with apparitions both sighted walking the roadways and, more terrifyingly, that manifest in the back seats of moving vehicles. Old Shasta City was founded through the 1850s as a gold rush town, and those passing its aged structures have described phantom lights spied floating about, and manifestations of what appear to be old-timey prospectors within. Whiskey Town was another community that sprouted up around the same time, though it was later flooded in 1962 in order to create Whiskey Town Lake, and along the lake shores, many have reported run-ins with the apparitions of the town's former residents, who appear lost or confused, some say as they search for their long-lost homes. Number 2. The Overseas Highway the Overseas Highway is a 113-mile main coastal highway connecting Miami to Key West in Florida that carries Route 1 the length of the Keys, while offering its travelers a lush and scenic roadway through tropical savanna environments, as well as access to the largest coral reefs on the United States mainland. Historically, portions of the Overseas Highway were first plotted atop the remains of the Overseas Railroad, which was constructed from 1905 to 1912. While planning for this highway would start in 1921 amongst the Miami Motor Club, and while its first segment would open to traffic in 1928, following heavy damages incurred by the railroad through the 1935 Labor Day hurricane and the selling of the old line's bed and remaining bridges to the state, 
original route plans would be scrapped in favor of a new dream of building the road along the old track instead, from the lower Matabumbi Key to the Little Torch Key. In 1960, Hurricane Donna would cause further damages to this route, resulting in extensive reconstruction efforts, and from 1978 to 1982, the Seven Mile Bridge, which sits amongst the largest bridges in the world, was constructed to replace an older, nearby crossing that can still be traversed on foot. The Overseas Highway remains a popular route to this day, and continues to undergo constant remodels, modifications, and repairs, while accommodating countless annual motorists. Through its lengthy existence, a range of fatalities have transpired along this deceptively serene byway, due to accidents, hurricanes, snake bites, drownings, and more. And a number of local legends claim the road is walked by the many resulting restless spirits, with motorists commonly reporting strange voices and phantom screams heard through their radios, mysterious handprints that appear on moving vehicles, and extreme cold spots. A number of full-bodied apparitions in clothing spanning the eras have been sighted wandering shoulders, and on the Seven Mile Bridge, many have reported run-ins with the spirit of an old fisherman who's been known to vanish when approached. During construction of the Old Seven Bridge, workers resided in temporary housing on Pigeon Key, some of which still stands, and passers-by have told tale of emaciated silhouettes wandering the ruins that are believed to be the ghosts of laborers who died constructing the highway so long ago. Number 1. U.S. Route 491 U.S. Route 491, which serves the Four Corners region and passes through New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and Utah, is a north-south U.S. highway formerly recognized as 666, which subsequently built the stretch infamy for its purported association with the devil and with satanic cults, and combined with its high fatality rate, namely through the New Mexico portion, actually resulted in its renaming in 2003. Historically, predating the Mexican-American War, the path used to traverse what was then part of Mexico was called the Old Spanish Trail, and connected the region of Santa Fe, New Mexico to that of Los Angeles, California. And incidentally, US 491 actually roughly correlates to a major portion of this old trail due to its efficiency. In 1926, a series of state routes following our modern 491 would be joined together to form US Route 666, which derived its name from being the sixth spur along Highway 66, and over time, its rather sinister numbering would build the stretch something of a reputation, resulting in a multitude of its signs being stolen regularly. In 1992, the Arizona portion of 666 would be renumbered as an extension of US-191, and in 2003, the New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado stretch would follow suit. Though days after this change was announced, it's said that literally nearly every single 666 sign along the entirety of the highway was stolen. Today, this aged strip acts as a spur of US-91 and runs through New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah, as well as through the tribal nations of the Navajo Nation and of the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe. Stemming from its original name, the number of accidents it's hosted, and purported inexplicable phenomena, the entirety of 491 is often referred to as the Devil's Highway, and many tell the whole of the drive is cursed, haunted, or something in between, and those traversing it have reported extreme temperature fluctuations, spectral entities sighted drifting the shoulders, and disturbing encounters with faceless hitchhikers. While some hoped the changing of its name would alter its reputation, many longtime locals swore that the highway belonged to Satan, and that changing its number would only further anger him. And up into recent times, motorists have reported sighting creatures that fit the classic descriptions of hellhounds that have so much as cornered those not paying attention, and have described brushes with what appear to be skinwalkers or demonic abominations. Lastly, several have told of close shaves with an aggressive phantom semi-truck that always attempts to intimidate park drivers, and a ghostly black sedan that some claim is driven by the devil himself has been known to try and force motorists off the road. 
taking its fascinating history, sinister reputation, and mess of associated urban legends and ghost stories into account, we felt US Route 491 was a perfect choice as this list's most haunted road in the United States. Thanks for joining us for our third list of some of the most chillingly haunted roads in the US. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, throw us a like, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you all next time.